M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Retivis RT52. So let's have a look at the Retivis RT52 software. So this is uh, the site, and this is what the radio looks like. Definitely haven't, I haven't got this radio. Looks nice, got a black and white screen. So it looks nice. Anyway, so let's go to, this is what the cable looks like. I'll put a link in so you know which cable. It's the usual two pin DMR chi China uh, type cable. So here's the site with the software. We've done the driver, so we're just going to download the programming software. Let's have a look at it. Quite simple, just click, double click the setup, click yes, and then we'll run it all the way through, finish and launch. Here we are, RT52, let's double click that. Let's start off with basic information. Yeah, VHF, UHF radio. The boot item will be what comes on when you turn it on. The main thing we want to look at is, have a look at general settings. Well, we need to get our call sign in. So we'll go M0FXB and our DMR number 2341437. Okay, got that done. It puts a naught there for some reason. Now channels, let's go to channel and we'll create a... Um, my hotspot first. So we'll start off normally before you tr create a channel better to create a contact. So go up here to contact. Contacts are basically talk groups. So digital contact we need to create one. You've got one there. Let's click add and we'll call it uh, local. Let's uh, right. double click here where it says two. You get this window and we're going to call it local for tg9 and we're going to put in just nine here I'll delete that we'll click nine right that's that created and it will change here look local and it's talk group nine talk groups and dmr numbers are very important in the dmr system so we've created one contact now let's create a channel so we'll double click channel and we'll double click here on one and we get the window where we can put the frequencies in so we'll just put in for now 430 click that across it's a simplex hotspot it's a digital one here and we'll name it my hotspot it's a jumbo hotspot pi star Squ not going to touch squelch level power level because it's home we'll leave it low now we need to create the we need to put the contact in here for it to work so click contact and the only one we've created at the moment is nine now you could create lots of these but anyway so let's double click nine okay there it's come up there local repeater slot on my hotspot is two and the color code is one let's go to one there you go Kogan. Now you can check these with the repeater if you want to do a repeater so I think everything else looks fine. The timeout, can't see that it's allowing me to do timeout at the moment. So maybe that's a, a different setting. We're not using scan list. Receive, transmit, digital hotspot, squelch level. Doesn't really matter on, on DMR really. So that looks fine. Let's move it up, make sure I've missed anything here. Seems okay. Let's move this down if it will let me. Open this up. Da, da, da. Yeah, everything looks fine. So, okay. Close that down. We've now got one channel. Now we need to put the channel into a zone. So what we're going to do is double click where it says zone. Then here, we're going to name the zone. So, we'll go double click. We're going to name... We double clicked it here where it says zone. We're going to name the zone hotspots, plural. That's where I'm going to put my hotspots. Right. So now, oh, it's already added that one channel there. It, what it is, normally it will be here and you click add and you can delete it going the other way. But it looks like you have to have a minimum of one in there. And if you wanted to add another zone, you just right click here and click add. And we could name that zone, you know, we could name it repeaters repeaters okay and then we go back to channels which is let's find that let's go up 
we've lost channels now there it is there but we could add a channel right click here and click add so what we could do now we could add a, a say a repeater channel say an analog repeater so we'll double click it and we'll, we'll select analog here and we'll go let's go for a nice simple one gb 3 wr and the frequency of the output is 145.600 there you go uh, we'll click it across for now, but it's actually the input is it needs a naught there. It's one four five thousand. Power will go for high because it's a repeater. We'll probably be outside. We're not going to do scanless. We need to get in our tone, but here look, we'll keep it on narrow twelve point five. We'll leave all that. So CTCSS will go for ninety four point eight on both. Receive and transmit and that all looks good now. We can close that now We need to put that channel where we're going to find it So we'll put it in my repeater zone So double click repeater zone this windows already open repeaters We'll click gb 3 w and we'll click add So now when we turn on the radio and we select zones one zone will have a hotspot one zone will have uh, my analog repeater so let's just do one more. <clears throat> let's do, let's double click, let's click, right click on zone, click add. Double click zone three there. And we'll call it digital repeaters. So we'll call it digi repeaters. So DMR repeaters. Now that's what we're going to call it. Okay. And uh, so we need to create a channel to put in that. So let's uh, double click channel again. Now, right click channel again, click add. So we're going to create a whole new channel, double click channel three here, which will come up and then we'll, it's going to be digital. So here, select digital. And we're going to call it, just guessing now, GB7 for DMR, BD. Okay? And we'll guess the frequency at 430.850. On receive, on transmit, there'll be a shift. So we'll go, because you don't put shifts in there, you put the frequencies in of the shift, 438.550. So when you transmit, that'll be the frequency it transmits on. We'll put the power high. Now, let's create a new contact, because we've already done one. Let's do another. So here where it says contact, uh, digital contacts there, let's click add at the top. Then we'll double click where it says three here. And we're going to call this one TG91, because very popular talk group, TG91. And so obviously in here we need to put 91. That's more important than the name. It already says group call, as did the other one. So that's created. Now we could, um, no, now, so we've got that. So we'll go back to our channel that we're creating. And here, where it says contact, we'll select TG91, like so. Let's do that again. There you are, TG91. The color code on this is three, and the repeater slot, we're going to put two. So we've got everything in there. We don't need to do CTSS because it's digital. So now we just need to put that in our zone. So we'll click digital repeaters, and there it is there, GB7BD. We'll click add, and we're done. So now we have three zones with three different channels. So hopefully that gives you an idea. There is a link here. See, so it says buttons here. Double click buttons. And you can select what the side buttons do. Uh, I'm sure there's loads more. It does show DTMF, text messaging, general settings, um, number key in. There's a menu here. Power, Vox, Scan. So have a good look. See what you think. I haven't got this radio. I'm just having a look. So, yeah, I hope this helps you uh, do the code plug for your Retivis RT52. Please like and subscribe my channel, 73, all the best. M0 FXB, this is the USB driver and cable for the Retivis RT52. So this is what the cable looks like. I'll put a link in the description. And the driver can be found here. And you just click Reti RT52 USB driver here. It will download. Click it here. Like so. Double click here. Look for your, you know, your PC version. I'm going to go for DP install AMD64. Double click that. Click yes. And with a bit of luck, it would install. 
and in the file it will look like this. 7.3, hope this helps. Please like and subscribe. At the end, just click Program, then Write to Radio, remembering to download your USB driver and connect your USB cable, two-pin cable, to the radio and the computer. Then click Write, and it will write the radio. I do not have this radio. 7.3.